Georgia, Bama, Notre Dame, Clemson. I'm okay with it. Uh, I thought I think Wisconsin should be a touch higher. Uh, I, I would put Wisconsin ahead of TCU. There's some errors in this committee ranking, and and like always, we fixate on the top four, five, and six, and that's like the right hand and the magic trick. Look at this. Yeah, hey, look over here. Look over here. What they what what you don't know is that this committee is not just taking resumes. They're also making the resumes. They are manipulating resumes by what they do from 10 to 25. The SEC is down. Oh. Outside of the top two, it's not even close. And yet they propped up Auburn. They propped up Mississippi State and didn't rank Michigan, who's just a two-loss team. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I think Clemson is a touch overrated based on what they've done. One is that Oklahoma, both of their road ranked wins are better than Clemson's road ranked wins. Their loss is better. I think that Oklahoma should be in the top four. Lonzo Ball is strangely, oddly passive. He's long, he's quick. Sometimes he can shoot. He is way, way, way too chill. You can always become a good shooter. But does the passive kid ever become aggressive? I don't know. It sometimes that's just not in your nature. If the Lakers are just recognizing that, did you scout him? <laughs> I mean, watch him at UCLA. Now he would go get a bucket when they needed it. But even at UCLA, he wasn't dribbling the ball a ton compared to what most point guards do now. He's going to have to find a happy medium for himself. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1. First Things First with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.